there are few things more painful than a boil and if left untreated it can lead to some nasty infections in this video i'm going to show you how to lance a boil safely and quickly using household items hi this is onis from americgym.com today i'm going to show you the basics of how to properly lance a boil. It's really simple and just take one tool that you probably already have in your house right now. If you have not watched my previous video on what to try before lancing a boil, go back and watch that first then come back and watch this video lancing the ball is not an easy task it can be done at home but i usually prefer visiting my health care provider in this case but if you find it difficult to get an appointment with your doctor then follow the following steps number one prep yourself and the boil for lancing make sure you wash your hands and pat them dry you can also put on some latest gloves fill for a soft area of the boil and look for a point or rising in the skin wash the affected skin with soap and water and clean the area further with provident iodine if you do not have it just use a uh, alcohol as it can perform the same job after that numb the area with lycodene if you have it and make sure you know how to use it by reading the manufacturer instructions alternatively you can use an ice pack to numb by just applying it on the site for a few minutes number two prep your equipment unwrap a sterile scalpel blade or sterilize a clean knife tip you can sterilize a knife tip by just putting it under a fire until it becomes red then let it cool down completely pour alcohol on the tip of the knife place some cloth or gauze under the ball so that when the ball start draining it may flow there you can also reserve some extra cloth to cover and clean the area after lancing a boil Number three, lance the boil. Stab the skin at a 90 degree angle. You should not have to insert the scalpel more than an inch. After that, wait for the pulse to start draining. If it doesn't, uh, you can roll the blade around the boil a little bit or try again if the pain is not too much. If there is a pulse close by, it is likely to find its way out of the hole. As soon as the pulse flows, you may want to slant the blade a little to open up the wound. Then remove the knife, let the wound drain out. Catch the pulse with cloth or gauze. After the draining subsides, be sure to wipe the wound and throw away any contaminated clothes and gloves. This is because the bacteria from abscesses can be contagious. Number four, then watch and wait. After the boy finishes draining, use myoporosin ointment if you have it and keep using the heat. If the wound closes before the infection
infection heals, you may need to reopen it. If a few days go by without spontaneous drainage, it may become clear that a boil or abscess will not respond to this home treatment and needs a surgical intervention. You need to contact your healthcare provider immediately to avoid further problem in the future. So, if you find this information useful, smash that bell notification icon so that I can keep on sending you important information like this. Visit our website at amerigym.com and please share this video with your friends and family. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We need more subscribers on this channel. Please help us grow this channel by subscribing to our channel. Thank you again and we'll see you next time.